So the name of the company is actually Junto Cubed. Who here, since we have a lot of high school students, knows what the word Junto means in Spanish? Together. Together. To bring people together. Um, Junto Cubed is information times social times real life. Basically, what we do is we create narrowcast social media apps that we call community networking apps. Um, they allow people to actually deliver on in real life with social media. These are just a few of our apps, a music app, uh, one for politics, career, and mixology. We're going to be focusing mostly on the mixology app. When I founded this company, um, I got the idea from my time at Congressional Quarterly. I was an editor in Washington, D.C. Um, doing web production and part of one of my jobs was to sort of get different people from different backgrounds on social media discussing issues um, and there were two things that I sort of found I found that it was kind of dissatisfying because there was no delivery from life on social media into real life I also found there was a problem with people arguing with each other and sort of making the experience not so great so the problem that we sort of found was with lumpy apps, which are like Facebook and, and Yik Yak, there's not a lot of delivery of real life. So what we actually do is we connect social media to real life events. As an example, I'll use our apps Mixologism, which is for mixology, craft beer, and wine. So basically what this app does is it integrates with Facebook, allows users to have a, a photo-based profile, and so like if you're a bartender or you're a fan of you know mixologist at home you can take pictures of what you're doing people can follow each other um, it also has tutorial videos with actual mixologists from around the country this is a mixologist from Washington DC and basically so it also has a catalog of a searchable catalog of cocktails where you can search cocktails by integration by um, ingredient or by the book they come from, like the Savoy Cocktail Book. Some of our other apps are more self-organizing, meaning that this is our one of our political apps. We have two political apps that we're doing um, and launching in July. One is for the liberal side and one is for the conservative side. So basically what these allow people to do is they allow people to meet more like-minded people and it allows them to, to sort of organize um, around ideas without getting yelled at on social media. So you can find people by your congressional district, you can find people by their passion, you can also find people by interests. And part of our apps is we also look at them as stealth dating apps because we think people have a sense of shame when they're doing sort of online dating and they also want to meet people who already are like-minded like them. Um, and particularly for something like this in the political sector, um, we have more of the conservatives in mind because sometimes it's difficult for people who are faith-based or conservative to sort of meet other people online and actually express where, you know, where they're coming from. So we think an app like this is going to attract people to, you know, actually meet people in sort of a stealth way and then through different kinds of events, either planned by us or planned through the app, people can sort of get together and meet people in a non-pressure group situation. So let's talk about revenue. Basically where our revenue is going to come from are data subscriptions, um, also from on-sites, um, actually planning events that people can register for in the app, uh, then advertising, and then also finally custom work, which is creating custom ad hoc apps for uh, social, basically for brands or for corporate networks. And actually our first app that we did for a corporation to sort of get bootstrapping money was for uh, Booz Allen Hamilton, and it was an internal communications app. Um, what we're going to be doing to build audience is through our pop-up events. We also view sales as promotion. You know, when we sell to people, they're going to actually have to try the app um, and then tell people about it. Then, of course, uh, social media campaigns. Uh, this is actually an event we did in Chicago um, with Martin Atkins of the band Pill, and it was about you know, helping women get into audio engineering. So that's who we are, um, Junto Cube, information times social times real life.